I'm obsessed with this image generation. One moment I'm in warrior mode, the next I'm a superhero, then I'm cruising down a river in central Vietnam, chilling at a cafe or wandering the busy streets of Singapore, all posing glamorously on a rooftop wearing couture. You too can create digital versions of yourself and you don't need fancy gear or technical skills. Just a few selfies, a bit of AI magic and patience, and suddenly you can step into any story you dream up. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how to create your own AI image clone that really looks like you, what you'll need so that you can get the best results, and how to create prompts for your images. We're going to start by creating an account in 4.ai. There are other platforms, but I feel that 4.ai is the easiest and fastest to use. Once you've created an account, we want to search for Flux Laura Portrait Trainer here. And then you can click on that. In order to generate images and use this, you're going to be prompted to add some credits. I've already added credits, so I don't have this prompt here, but you'll see the option to add some credits. On the first day, I added about $20 worth of credit and I spent an afternoon creating 30 or so images and it cost me about $7. I've been playing around with images for a few days and it's quite affordable to generate a lot of images and it will last you quite a while. So go ahead and add your credit so that you can start playing. Next, we'll need to add some images to train the model. Ideally, you want about 20 to 30 images of yourself. These need to be well-lit photos showing a range of facial expressions. If you want to use a set of similar images, give them all the same file name. So you will need to create a zip file of the images, which you can then upload to 4.ai. Next, we'll need to enter your trigger phrase. A trigger phrase is a special keyword you use in your prompt to tell 4.ai exactly when to use your custom AI image style. I'm using Sarah Nguyen as my trigger phrase. You can use your name or whatever creative term you want. Now, for the rest of the settings, you can pretty much leave it as it is. And then select start and the AI will start working its magic. This will take five to 10 minutes, sometimes a little longer. And once it's ready, you'll see it here under training history. Now that mine's complete, I want to select run inference. In the prompt section, it currently has my trigger word and I want to add a prompt of what image I want to create here. And of course, include the trigger word as well. So here's one I created earlier. In this path section here, it should have automatically generated a unique URL and Copy and paste this. I've blocked mine for privacy purposes, but you're going to want to keep that on hand when you want to generate new images with this as well. So let's continue with the settings. In terms of scale, just leave it as one. For image size, choose the size that you want to size it to. So I'm going to choose landscape 16 by nine, which is really good for YouTube thumbnails. In terms of number of inference steps, um, it's currently at 28, but I find and have seen recommendations that 40 is a good number. In terms of seed, leave it as random. Guidance scale, leave it as it is. Sync mode, leave it off. Number of images, literally put how many images you want to generate here. The more that you have, the more images will generate. And then in terms of output format, you can choose JPEG or PNG and select run. And just like that, it will start generating the images for you. And you can see what they look like in the results section here on the right hand side. And there you go. Look at that. How cool are these? You can continue to generate images and to tweak the prompt. So for example, I'm going to change the outfit from neutral tone to be pink toned. And I would simply run it again and see the results. And it's generated the images based on the changes to the prompt for me. Now, if you find that the images really don't look like you, there may be issues with one of two things, either the images you uploaded or your prompt. If you just threw together random images and they're blurry and low res and covering your face, you're not going to get a decent result. So make sure you get some decent photos. You can use your smartphone, take photos in daylight, and just remember they need to be clear and high res. Now to help you out with your prompt, 
I've got this easy to use template that you can copy and paste and I've put it in the description for you. You need to give it enough detail to get a decent result. You can see from the template here, I'm specifying the style of the image, the trigger word, what I'm doing, where I'm doing it, what I'm wearing, expressions, lighting, mood, background details, and the color palette. Here's an example of the template that's been adopted so you can kind of see what you're aiming for and what it should look like. And for the ultimate inception, you can ask ChatGPT to write the prompt for you and paste it into your digital Laura prompt. You can keep it simple and say, write a detailed image generation prompt for 4.ai showing me in this particular scenario. The more detail you give ChatGPT about the mood, clothing, environment, and what you want to avoid, the better the custom prompt will be. And that's it. You're officially ready to clone yourself in any world you can dream up, from rooftop glam to riverside chill. You can use these to create really standout YouTube thumbnails or social media posts. There are so many different possibilities and applications. If you want to dive even deeper into using AI to help you with your content creation, check out the playlist linked right here on the screen. It's packed with step-by-step -step guides, ideas, and all my favorite AI hacks for creators. I'm adding more tutorials so we can continue to learn to create with AI together. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.